some of the most interesting problems in the world involve sex. Among those that interest geneticists are questions like, why do so many species have as many males as females? Why do most couples tend to have both sons and daughters, but some couples have all sons or all daughters? Whose genes, the fathers or the mothers, determine whether a child will be a boy or a girl? King Henry VIII worried a lot about that one. Why do some diseases, like hemophilia and muscular dystrophy, seem to occur only in boys? The basis for an answer to these questions was discovered around 1900 by cytologists working with insects. Insects are convenient for these studies because they have relatively few chromosomes in the nuclei of their cells. For instance, grasshoppers have 21 to 22 chromosomes and fruit flies have eight. With these low numbers of chromosomes, it was fairly easy to look during mitosis and meiosis when the chromosomes were condensed and see that the shapes of chromosomes followed a definite pattern. First, most of the chromosomes occurred in pairs. Two members of a pair are called homologous chromosomes and they look alike. Each pair, however, differs from the others. The characteristics that distinguish the different pairs are commonly the length of the chromosome and the position of its centromere. More recently, researchers have shown that fluorescent markings can help identify which chromosomes are homologous and which are not. 